Hello everyone and welcome to Nixa, Missouri here at Eagle Fieldhouse. It's the third day of the Nixa Invitational Tournament. First game of the, of the afternoon. We got the third place game with Notre Dame and Webster Groves. I'm Ryan Swanson along with my broadcast partner Brady Retone. Brady, how are we feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm ready to see this matchup here. We got the Rubel sisters, Moppin sisters going at it. Couldn't get much better than this. And I, we're going to start with Webster Groves. Player to watch obviously would be Eliza Moppin. Hit 1,000 points yesterday in her high school career with, the, with Webster Grove. Webster Groves. I'm excited to see that. And then also for Notre Dame, I think the player to watch for them is going to be Lex, Lexi Rubel. Yeah, tough night last night for both teams. I mean, Notre Dame did not perform very well at all against the West Plains team. And know. honestly, I was shocked. I really thought they would beat West Plains because when they were matched up good in West Plains, Ashton Judd just, she ran the show last night. And that was the thing uh, the other day too. It was all Nora Clark and Rihanna Gibbons for Nixa against Webster Grove. And the size. Webster Grove has that size advantage, but Nixa just used their aggressiveness to take advantage of it. In the first quarter, they were already in the bonus. So stuff yeah. like that, they drew the fouls, because I mean, usually that smaller person gets that foul, so you get them to jump and you go into them and put it up, that's a foul, you're gonna go to the line. I mean, that's all they did and it worked. It did indeed. That'll be a great matchup to watch for the championship game for this tournament. Nixa and Webster, or not Webster, West Plains. My bad on that one. Still a little early. Um, we have the bracket right here. So, round one, Webster Grove beat Park Hill South 51 to 50. Then round two for Webster Grove. They lost to Nixa 68 to 61. And that moved them on to play Notre Dame. Notre Dame in round one lost to, Repu I mean, beat Republic 48 to 45. Ooh. And then they got beat. 54, 227. And then the games earlier today, Norfolk beats Carnahan Prep 60 to 25. They take seventh place in the tournament. The game that just finished, Park Hill South and Republic. Republic wins that one, they'll take fifth. We're gonna hand it down to Eric Michelle for starting lineups. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to Nixon, Missouri here at Eagle Fieldhouse. It's time for tip-off. Webster Groves, Notre Dame. 
Let's get this one started. Tip off one by Webster Groves. Pass over to Marsh, top of the key. They're gonna throw it down low. Over in the corner, three up, three down. Three knocked down there by Jenna Clark. Jenna Clark last night was just, I mean, she had most of the three-point buckets for Webster Grove, and when she got him to fall, I mean, it brought him back into the game. She just wasn't that consistent with her shot. I mean, that's what really, I mean, they took a lot of shots. They just weren't consistent with them. Yeah, you worked on that one. But that three right there, right pass from Tori Rubel. They answer right back there. And you're right, Jenna Clark, someone you can't leave open on this Webster Groves team. Trap right there. Pass back down in the paint. And there's Eliza Moppin getting the layup in the paint. I mean, the roster says she's 6'2", but she's, she has to be 6'4". Yeah. I mean, that also says uh, Tori Rubel is 6'1". I don't know how they compare up to each other, but here's Tori Rubel. I'll tell Lexi Rubel. Or, nope, flipped him. Lexi Rubel to Lexi to Tori. Gardner looking around. Over to Tori. Tori Rubel. There was a Notre Dame throwing it around. Rubel inside. Layup can't go. Moppin grabs it. Webster Groves now back on offense. Murder, or that's Palusek bringing it up. Palusek with the layup. Their offense is clicking to start early. Palusek, day number one, was the leading scorer. And it just, she didn't play up to the expectations yesterday. She, 10 points, I mean, still a pretty good performance, but. Not what they're looking for out yeah. of her. Tori Rubel has it, goes in the corner. It's gonna be a travel there on Anna Gardner. It's gonna be Statesman's, Statesman's, Statesman's basketball. And the turnovers is what, I mean, really got to Notre Dame yesterday. If that makes a difference between a 20 point basketball game and a seven point basketball game is turnovers. You're correct on that one. Moppin has it. She drives in, she's looking around. Up to Palusek, Palusek driving. Spin move, gets fouled there, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul, gonna be on number 35, Sarah Brennan, or Brennan. Blue set, first of her two free throws. First one's up, knocks the first one. That number three, Jayla Hawkins, checking in for Webster Groves. And as you said earlier, Plusak didn't play up to expectations in the Nixa game, but still a threat on the court. I mean, she's great at driving to the basket. We saw that a lot in the first game. We'll see how she plays this in this outing. Garner has it. She's bringing it up for Notre Dame. Throws it to Rubel. Back up top for Givens to Rubel. Notre Dame swinging it around. A drive by Garner. Layup's good from Anna Gardner. Cuts it down to a four-point lead. Palusek has the ball. She gives it to Clark. Clark over to Hawkins. Down low to Moppin. Moppin can't get the rebound, or can't get the layup, excuse me, but gets fouled. Webster Groves' ball movement has I mean, just been phenomenal so far. And everything has just looked good. It has. Ball movements look great here. Moppin's first free throws up. Gonna bounce off the back iron. And roll out. Have a chance to make this a five point game. With this shot here. Moppin's shot is up and good. As we're gonna see Garner bringing it up for the Lady Bulldogs. Picked up a half court. Throws it to Rubel. Rubel at the top. At the top, swinging around into the corner. Garner bringing it in, can't get it to go. Gets her own rebound, can't get the second chance shot to go. She gets a rebound again, kicks out to the corner. Three up, three down. Jenna Givens with the three point bucket. Now Webster Groves is driving it in. Clark stuck in the corner. Ruba playing tight defense. Palusek has it now. She's driving in. She's gonna stop, back up with the arc. It's gonna be stolen. 
Notre Dame. That ball's going to be stolen by Gardner. Gardner went after the shot, but that's going to be blocked by Jayla Hawkins, and it's going to be Notre Dame basketball. In this past run they just have, what really cut it down to a two point lead, is it's Notre Dame team we saw today, number one. Yes, it is, we do, indeed. They're a team that's lethal from the three point line. That one, though, off the front iron. Rubel with the rebound, though. Over to her sister, Lexi Rubel. Tori now has it. She's looking around. Cross court pass over to Givens. Givens back to Rubel. Rubel looking around. Picked up by Moppin. Lexi Rubel now has it. Comes a screen from the right. Not going to take it, though. Ball's tipped by Pelusek. Lexi Rubel driving in. Out to the corner. Tori's going to drive in. That ball will tip, but it's going to be a foul from number 33, Sophia Nininger. Tori Rubel going to get two shots at the line. Has a chance to tie this game up. That's what I talked about earlier. In that size, I mean, they're going to draw us a bunch of fouls because, I mean, they're the smaller team, of course. Yeah. So, so, I mean, once, I mean, last night, Webster Grove was a lot of foul trouble, like I said. And their end of the bench is not very big. Nope, so, I mean, if you can get them in foul trouble early, that's a really good sign for them having to put in there to the bench who's smaller. Use their aggressiveness against them. I like it. Got to check in now for Notre Dame, number 33. Isabel Knapp checking in. Palusek takes the ball up. Tie game here with 3.45 left in the first. Palusek behind the back. She's looking around. Over to Hawkins. In the corner now. Clark. Clark in the paint for Moppin. Moppin can't get the layup to go. Rebound by Nittinger. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be Notre Dame basketball. Lexi Rubel is going to bring it up for the Lady Bulldogs. She's going to be picked up by Palusek at half court. Palusek. And a Rubel over to Givens. Now the ball's in the paint for Lexi Rubel. Back up to the top of the three-point line. That three is knocked down from Jenna Givens. Inside out right there. And this is the team we saw in the first round from Notre Dame. They don't miss from the three-point line. Moppin try to throw it down low for Nittinger. That's going to go off her hands and out of bounds. Notre Dame has a chance to get an even bigger lead. And it's going to be a timeout here from Webster Groves. We're going to take a quick break real quick. Brought to you by Air Services, All Services. Welcome back, everyone, to Nixon, Missouri, here at Eagle Fieldhouse. The Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs lead at 13-10. Webster Groves is going to come out with a full court press. Rubel has it. Picked up by Palusak. Rubel's going to take it up the court. She's looking around. She's going to get it over to Knup. Knop. Seaboro has it. Back to Knop. Back in the corner. She gets trapped. Ball's going to be on the ground. Looks like it's going to be out of bounds there. I think it's going to stay Notre Dame ball. I couldn't see it well. It's going to be out of bounds there on Eliza Moppin. She's going to get checked out. It's going to stay Notre Dame basketball. Tori Rubel for the inbound for the Bulldogs. She throws up for her sister. For sister. Back in the corner. Moving around. Looks like you couldn't drive in there. Out in the corner. Back up top for Tori Rubel. Notre Dame moving the ball around. Lexi Rubel going to drive it in. Out back for the corner. Tori with a shot. Can't get it to go. Palusek bringing it up. Three point game. 2 12 left in the first. Palusek down low. Back out to the elbow. The three is up from Hawkins off the back iron. Tori gets the rebound. Tori Rubel gets trapped. 
Out for Lexi Rubel. She brings it up now. Out in the corner. Shot is up. Shot is down right there for Sydney. Seabar. For how much height they have, they're they're not the best rebounding team. No, they're not. I mean they and if they got the offense that rebounds they need to get, they would be up in this game right now. It's just they can't they can't get offense or rebound right now. It's really killing them. They aren't in as much foul trouble as they were the last game. Clark now has it. She's looking around. Picked up by Lexi Rubel. Out for Palusek. Slowing the game down a bit. Palusek driving. She throws it over in the paint. Loose ball there. It's going to be a jump ball and it's going to stay with Webster Groves basketball. Try to get the ball there. To Adele Marsh. She loses it a bit. Eliza Moppin checking in now for Sophia Nittinger. Palusek's going to inbound the ball now for the Webster Grove Statesman. Looking around. That ball's going to be inbounded. Back up at the top now. Hawkins driving in. Can't get it. Over to Clark. In the corner. Down low to Marsh. Marsh up. Can't get it to go. That ball's tipped. Palusek and Rubel had it. Ooh. Looks like we've got a collision there. With it. Looks like it was with Adele Marsh and Eliza Maupin. It's Adele Maupin. We got the change last night. Oh, it's, it is, so it it's is the Maupin. Maupin sisters, yeah. Oh, I'm reading. Ross, Ross lied to me there. Adele Maupin. My bad there. Yeah, Garner the bringing it up. And the final man, the first. Palusek tips it. Rubel gets it back, though. Rubel passes it to her sister. Now on the elbow. A drive in from Gardner. The layup is good. Great job breaking the trap there and great job getting the layup. Palusek now. Looking around. Palusek drives. She's going to travel though. And it's going to be Notre Dame basketball. Notre Dame up 18 10 with 32.1 left in the first quarter. I mean, in. After last night, you don't need to count this Webster Grove team out anytime soon. No. They were down 19, and I believe they cut it down to an eight-point game at once. Yeah, this team has been able to come back from pretty large deficits, especially against Nixa. Gardner has it. Gardner to Rubel. Rubel driving in. She's going to throw it back out for Gardner. To Rubel in the corner. Tori Rubel brings it up. Ball's going to be tipped. It's going to be a foul on Moppin. Moppin second. Yeah, and I suspect that she's going to get checked in. Jenna Clark checking in for her. Tori Rubel to check it in. Lexi Rubel now has it. She's going to get picked up. She's still driving in, though. Gets doubled. Tries to throw into the corner. Can't get it. The ball is tipped. Could not get the ball to Anna Gardner. And that's going to be the end of the first. Your score. Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs 18, Webster Grove Statesman 10. We'll be back for the start of the second quarter after this quick break. Brought to you by Air Services, all services. Welcome back, everyone, to Nixon, Missouri, here at Eagle Fieldhouse. Right now, it's the Notre Dame Bulldogs leading the Webster Grove Statesman 18 10. 
Ruble now at the top of the key. She's going to shoot from the three-point line. It's going to bounce off the rim and out. Palusek now bringing it up for the Statesman. Notre Dame finding good opportunities, coming off screen, coming off the off-ball screens and finding open shots like there, and just couldn't convert on it. Couldn't there either. Cross-court pass for Clark in the corner. She drives in, over to Palusek in the corner. Pump fake. She's going to throw it down low, back into the corner for Hawkins. Hawkins over to Clark. Clark's going to take the three. It's going to bounce out. It's going to be rebounded, though, by Nittinger. Nittinger cleans up the rebound for the second chance points. And a Gardner now bring up for Notre Dame. It's a six point game. It's going to bounce off Jayla Hawkins, and it's going to stay Notre Dame basketball. Lexi Rubel now bringing it up. Off the inbound. Over on the elbow. Great move there by Givens. Hits the side of the backboard though on that shot. Rebound by Nittinger. Blusek now brings it up for the Statesman. That ball's going to be tipped out of bounds by Anna Gardner. Pokes it free from Palusek, just couldn't get it. Palusek inbounding it. Over in the corner for Clark. Clark down low for Nittinger. It's going to be a foul there, though. Let's see who the foul's on. Yeah. We got, we got a replay right here. Oh, there's the foul right there. Blue set down for Nittinger during the paint. Out in the corner for Clark. Clark, shot is good. Like I said, you can't leave her open. Jenna Clark drills that one. Jenna Clark's got six on the night. Both shots from the three-point line. Or both two shots from the three-point line, and she's made both of them. Rubel has out in the corner. Gardner pump fakes, drives in. She gets trapped on the baseline. They're going to call jump ball. It's gonna stay, or it's gonna turn over to Webster Grove. I mean, last night Jenna Clark had 15, I believe. It may have been five three pointers, and I mean, she was on point all night long. Definitely, this team's best shooter. You can't leave her open. She, she got open there for a minute. Just gonna get the pass there. Now Clark has it in the corner. She brings it back up, over to Hawkins. Hawkins driving. Hawkins shot up off the back iron. Rubel gets the rebound. Tori Rubel the rebound, Lexi Rubel now bringing it up. In the corner, back up for Rubel. Now Tori Rubel has it. In the corner. Givens to Rubel. To Lexi Rubel from Tori Rubel. Screen coming here. Le Lexi decides not to use it, now there it is again. Has it, Lexi Rubel driving in and good. Straight to the rack for Lexi Rubel. It's a five-point game. Clark has it. Clark up top for Palusek. Palusek behind the back. She drives in. Layup off the front iron. Rebound by Rubel. They're going to call a foul there on Nittinger. Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs will keep the ball down or up five. We almost had the wrong side of the scoreboard there. Seven there. Palusek with six on the night. Jenna Givens also has six for the Bulldogs. Those are the two leading scorers on the floor for both teams right now. Givens to Rubel. Rubel to Rubel. I call a foul there on Ava, Palusek. Ava Marsh checking into the game. Only a freshman. We you don't see that much very often, especially in a 20 to 15 ball game. Yeah, especially playing varsity in this tournament, too. Although for Webster Groves being a big size team, definitely she isn't that big or only standing at 5-4. Garner driving. Can't get it to go. A little team miscommunication there. It's going to be out, though, there on Jenna Givens. Looked like they're mopping. And Marsh tried to get the rebound, but it poked out of bounds. As Notre Dame takes a timeout, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after this break, sponsored by Air Services, All Services.
Welcome back, everyone, to Nixon, Missouri, here at Eagle Fieldhouse. It's the Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs leading the Webster Grove Statesmen. 20 to 15, Palusek bringing it up. Ball's gonna be tipped, and that's gonna be stolen by Notre Dame. Lexi Rubel bringing it up. As she's gonna overshoot. Jenna Givens there on that pass. To turn over there in transition, as now it's going to be Webster Grove's basketball. Palusek bringing it up. Made someone fall there. Rubel has it now off the rebound. Notre Dame now bringing it up. I mean, open Over opportunities. Elbow. Both teams just can't convert on. Like the fast break there and the open jump shot. And just shots what need to be hit and passes what need to be made. I agree with you right there. As Givens, three, no good. Palusek now bringing it up. 4-12 left in the second quarter. Tries to go down low for Nittinger. It's stolen, but then stolen right oh. back. That's oh. going to be backcourt right there. I was like, that was really, really good call by the official there. Like, it was a really good call. It looks like we got a replay of it. I don't know. We can, you can tell from that angle. We won't be able to. But the ref right there. Power of her foot went over. That was a great call by the official. Jenna Givens to Rubel. Rubel down on the, or on the elbow. Givens now has it for Rubel. Rubel driving. Tori Rubel's jump shot won't go. Rebound by Hawkins. Hawkins bringing it up. Hawkins started to drive but stops as she's going to travel there. Started to drive and then got stopped. Tried to look for someone and traveled the ball right there. I will see Givens bringing it up for the Lady Bulldogs. Givens over to the elbow. Back to the top of the key. Notre Dame swinging the ball around. Trying to find something. Tori Rubel now has it. Over on the elbow for Givens. Givens driving. Givens layup is good wow. off the backboard. Wait, she got that up and over ninja. And it was just phenomenal. That's a great play right there. Ninja try to get down low for Mop and that ball's tipped. Webster Groves gets it back. Now Moppin down low. She gets it that time. Eliza Moppin gets the rebound. Or gets the second chance point. She's got five now. Givens has it. Givens over to the elbow. Back up by half court for Rubel. Rubel looking around. That's going to be given to Givens. Givens back to Rubel. Rubel driving in the corner. The three is up. Off the back iron. Seaball shot right there. It's gonna be off the back iron. Moppin has it. Over to Ninninger. Cross pass for Clark. Up top for Hawkins. Hawkins over to Moppin. Moppin loses control. And it's gonna be stolen by Notre Dame. Timeout here for the Lady Bulldogs. We're gonna take a quick break. Sponsored by Air Services, All Services. Welcome back to Eagle Fieldhouse here in Nixon, Missouri. Bulldogs have five point lead over the Webster Grove Statesman, 22-17. Seaball now has it, throwing down low for Rubel. Rubel off the bottom of the rim. It's gonna be rebound by Nittinger, now Moppin brings it up. Moppin driving in. Over to Nittinger, off the hands of Nittinger. Knup now has it. Knup looking around. Over to Rubel. 
Rubel trying to get around the defense. Up top for Gardner. Gardner now driving in. From in the corner for Seaball. Seaball to... Oh, Seaball now has it. Now it's Knapp. Rubel now has it. Rubel driving in. Going to call a foul there on Pelusek. That's what's your girl's fifth foul. Like we said last game, they had against Nixa in the semifinal. They had a little bit of foul trouble. We're seeing it here now. Actually, they're keeping it in control a lot better than the Nixa game. And they had seven in the with three minutes left in the first quarter. They did. Yeah. I, yeah, they have some big players who have multiple fouls. I mean, they have Moppin and Palusak both have two. It's only the second quarter, though, so they're doing pretty well compared to last night. Del Moppin with the foul now. As now it's going to be Isabel Canup now at the line. Knapp's first shot. Off the back iron and in. 108 left in the second. Notre Dame. Up 23-17 with the chance to widen that lead a little bit more. Second shot up. And good. Knapp there now with two points on the night. Belusek. Gets it to Clark in the corner. She starts to drive. Tries to throw it back out. Mopping now at the top. Throws in the corner. Hawkins. Pull up mid-range jumper. Can't get it. Uh -oh. Mopping looked to get the rebound but lost control of it. Now Rubel has it for Notre Dame. Euro step. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. I mean, what, a, what a Euro step there. Great Euro step right there from Rubel. On the back for Polusak. Loses control. Ball gets tipped as Pelusek was looking for Moppin. Pelusek in the corner for Clark. 26 seconds left in the second. Webster Grove possibly taking a last second shot here. Looks like that's what they're trying to do. Hawkins driving in actually. For Hawkins, right? Can't get it. Moppin gets the rebound and cleans it up. That's just unfair, man. She, <laughs> she just reached right over the girl. Just literally reached right over her head and grabbed it. Rubel now bringing it up. She wants the last shot. Three seconds. And Rubel's not going to shoot it. And, and we're going to go into halftime. Notre, Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs, 26. Webster Grove Statesman, 19. Brady, anything you want to say? No. All right, then.
Welcome back everyone to Eagle Fieldhouse here in Nixa, Missouri for the third place matchup here in the Nixa Invitational Girls Basketball Tournament. I'm Ryan Swanson along with my broadcast partner, Brady Retone. Brady, it's a seven point game. Notre Dame leads 26 to 19. What do you think has got to change for Webster Groves to get back in this game? Offensive rebounds. They can't, if they're not capitalizing on their first one, they got to get that second chance opportunity. And that's going to put them right back in this game. I mean, just, you know, actually, rebounds in general, mm -hmm. they're really struggling. And they have two, six, three girls, and they're, they're struggling. I mean, it, they, last night, it wasn't the best rebounding. If they get their rebounding and they get second chance buckets, they're winning this game. That's, that's what needs to happen for me more. They're also going to have to stop this three-point attack from Notre Dame. It felt like almost every three-point shot that went up, they meant they hit. So we'll see how this goes. Second half, we're just about to get underway. And yeah, like you said, rebounds the, name, the main thing. But for Notre Dame, they've been playing great defense so far. They've got to keep that up, though. They've been able, even though their team they're playing is bigger than, they've been able to outmuscle them for the rebounds. For them, if they keep doing that, like you said, they're going to win this game. Anna Gardner has it. And the Bulldogs will start on offense to start the second half. Rubel, down low to her sister. Lexi Rubel, now back up to the top. The shot is up. Off the back iron from Burnin. Rebound from Rubel. Rubel cross-court pass. In the corner, the three is up and the three is down from Jenna Givens. And she was just wide open in the corner. And, I mean, great court vision there by Lexi Rubel to see that in the corner and get them the opportunity. Now here's Jenna Clark in the corner off the front iron. Moppin now has the rebound. Palusek at the top. Palusek, shot. That's going to hit the, hit the front iron. And now the Bulldogs bringing it up. In the corner now. Ball's going to be tipped. Rubel has it. Ball's going to be tipped again. The Statesman can't get the ball. They've, had, they've been able to tip the ball. There it is again. They just can't steal the ball. Gardner Ooh. driving down low. Can't get it. Garner's going to go for two. And that was three separate times on that drive where Webster Groves was able to tip the ball. They just couldn't get the steal. Then they well, they didn't call it a ninja. Um, huh. Called Jenna Clark. I thought they called it a ninja clothesline during when she was going up. And Garner's first shot is going to be off the rim. Ten-point lead. Has a chance to extend it to 11 with this shot here. Garner's second shot is up. And it's good. Palusek's now going to bring it up for the Statesman. Statesman, or Palusek. They're looking around. Moppin now. That ball's going to be tipped, and it's going to be stolen. Notre Dame now bringing it up. That's Gardner who has it. They're going to slow the game down. Rubel has it. Up by 11. Rubel is going to take a screen, but that ball is tipped by Palusek. It's going to be stolen there. It's going to be jump ball. And Webster Groves is going to keep the basketball. Ryan, what's I, what I've noticed is when, say, Ninja or Moppin get down low, instead of keeping the ball up here, they get it down here, and they get it stolen each time. I mean, they keep it up here, they're not going to be able to get to it. I mean, they had a clear height advantage. Mm -hmm. Why not use it? I'm exactly wondering that as well. Why not just use the height that you got in your team? I mean, they can be doing much more work down the paint. Meanwhile, Ninja. The ball's going to be tipped and stolen. Garner now has it. They're bringing it up. Tori Rubel in the corner. Cross court pass for Givens. Givens three. Can't go. Rubel has it. Rubel gets blocked. Remember, Dame's going to recover the ball, though. Rubel has it over to Garner. Garner over to Rubel. Rubel driving baseline. And they're going to call a charge. Rubel gets called for a charge on Adele Maupin. Right here, you can see. Yeah, she lowered her shoulder. But I don't know if Rubel couldn't get it across, but if she can get it across in the corner and skip that pass over, she has Tori wide open for three. Uh, Maupin now driving in. That ball's in. They cut the lead back down to single digits. Lexi Rubel's now going to bring it up. 5.35 left in the third. Notre Dame slowing the game down. 
Ruble over to Ruble. Over to Gardner. Garner out on the elbow. Garner, th er, that's not Garner. Uh, B. Givens throwing in the corner. Back to Garner in the corner. And that ball's gonna be drilled by Garner. Palusek bringing it up. Palusek in the paint. Now for Maupin. There's gonna be a foul there. Maupin's going to the line to shoot two. Chance to make this a 10 point game with these two shots here. Um, oh, okay. I thought Notre Dame was at the line. I'm like, Brian, it's a 12 point game right now. And I realized Webster Grove was at the line. First shots off the rim. Moppin did go 0 for yesterday at the free throw line against Nixa. Yeah, but a great accomplishment for her yesterday. As you probably heard, at 1,000 points yesterday in their game against Nixa. That with the loss. Second shot's down. And Rubel's going to bring it up for the Bulldogs. Rubel calls for a screen, doesn't use it. Now in the corner, Gardner. Pump fakes drives in. Back up to Rubel on the elbow. That ball, a little short there. Palusek now over to Maupin. Maupin driving down. Cross-court pass, intended for Clark. It's tipped by Rubel. Clark gets it back, though. Clark driving through. She's going to get trapped. Over to Nittinger. Nittinger. Over to Palusek. Palusek shot. That's going to be bounce off the rim and out. Scrum on the ground there. It's going to be Notre Dame basketball. Rebound originally gotten from Adele Maupin. But they couldn't get the ball out. Jump ball called. Bulldogs basketball. They're up 11 with 425 left in the third. Garner bringing it up. She's got eight on the night. Gardner over to Givens. Givens to Rubel. Rubel to Seabar. Over to Gardner. Gardner driving in. Nothing there. And that's going to go all the way around back to the top. Can't get it. That'd be Givens shot. Can't go down. Palusek now. Palusek down low oh, for Moppin. That's a push. That's going on. Right going to call a push on Moppin there. I don't know why the coaches, coaches even question me. We got a replay right here. Did Kale get the shot? Yeah, you can see yeah, how she got pushed there. Yeah, you can see her arm extend there. That's Moppin's third foul. Uh, she's going to get the steal, though. Don't Tori it. Rubel. <laughs> she probably can if she, if she can get up there. She can probably get up there. I mean, she, was, she, she was close. She almost had it. Tori Rubel can all hold on to that there. Gardner throws it over for Givens. Givens to Rubel. Now over to Seaborough. Now over to Gardner. She gets picked up by Nittinger. And that's going to be a foul on Nittinger. That's call number 33. You can see that's the third foul for Webster Groves. With 3.23 left in the third. That's the second foul on Nittinger. Only down nine. Third quarter. So you got time. He's got to play smart here. Rubel has only with four on the night. She's going to give it to Givens. Givens over to Seabar. It's going to be over the head of Lexi Rubel. Tried to grab it. It's going to go off her hand, though, and it's going to be Statesman basketball. Palusik's going to bring it up. She's only had four tonight, so not the performance we saw in the first game either. Moppin now has it. Mopping down low. Now she passes to Palusak. Palusak with the bucket and the and one chance coming up. Adele Mopping with the pass. Over to Palusak for that play right there. Yeah, the ball movement there just was very well. I mean, they found the open man, the backdoor cutter, and it got the open bucket in the and one. Palusak gets the and one there. And really, the ball movement has been great for both teams tonight. They've both been really good on the ball movement. Now, the state's been coming with a full court press. Rubel bringing it up. She's going to throw it way down the court for Knapp. All the way back to the top of the key. In the corner. She's going to get trapped. And she's... And that's going to actually be a timeout. Great, jo great job calling the timeout right there. She got trapped. They know where to go. We're going to take a quick break here. It's the Notre Dame Bulldogs 33. Webster Grove Statesman 20.
Welcome back, everyone, to Eagle Fieldhouse here in Nixon, Missouri. 33-27, Bulldogs leading it. 2.42 left in the third. As Givens has it. Givens over to Seawarrow. To Rubel. In the corner. The drive from Rodane. Back up to the top. The three is up. Off the backboard from Seawarrow there. Palusek bringing it up. She's got seven now. Palusek loses control. Now it's Nittinger at the free throw line. In the corner for Clark. Clark can't get it to go. Rebound by the Statesman. Statesman back in the corner for Clark again. Second time, she can't get it to go either. That's gonna be a foul there on Lexi Rubel. Lexi Rubel foul. Fourth team foul for Notre Dame. That's the fourth foul for Lexi Rubel. She's the only one away from fouling out. She hasn't had a great game today either though. She's only got four. Statesman passing the ball in. That's gonna go off the foot of Adele Maupin. Now Givens bringing it up over to Tori Rubel. Ball's gonna be poked free. Hawkins had it. She's gonna get fouled. Who's the foul gonna be on? I think they're gonna call it on. Yeah, Tori Rubel. That's her second foul. Five fouls now for Notre Dame. Lusek has it over to Hawkins. Hawkins to Nittinger. Nittinger to Maupin. Maupin gets fouled in the and one. Just like that, it's a four point ball game. Chance to make it a one, a one possession game here on this free throw. Oh, I thought she, oh, they called the foul on somebody else. They aren't going to the line. I thought they were about to go to the line. <laughs> Palusek's corner three, no good. Rebound by Maupin. Maupin puts it back up. Adele Maupin now getting the shot up. Yeah, there we go. All right, four point game. Gardner bringing it up. Gardner over to Barnan, over to Rubel. Back over to Givens. Givens to Gardner, Gardner driving. Gardner's layup, can't get it to go. Rebound by Hawkins. Hawkins loses it, but gets it over to Maupin. Palusek has it, Palusek, pull up three. Off the front iron, Nittinger gets the rebound. Nittinger, rebound can't go. Gets her own rebound. They're gonna call a foul there. Should be all right. I think that's gonna be on Sarah Burnham. One. Tori Rubel, three fouls. Crucial player on defense and offense for Notre Dame. And she creates a lot of open shots. and That's a player you don't want off the court. Yeah, she's got her third foul, but Lexi Rubel's got four. The Rubel sisters are both on the verge of fouling out. Newton drew at the line, her first shot. Good. She makes the first shot in the one and one. Webster Groves can make this a two-point game with this free throw. Shots up off the back iron. Rebound by Givens. Givens over to Garner. Garner to Seabow. Seabow to Givens. All the way back up top for Gardner. Garner to Seabow in the corner. That's a three. Won't go. Rebound. Notre Dame gets it back. Givens over to Gardner. Garner over to Seabow. Seabow over to Burnin. Burning back to Givens. Givens back and forth, back and forth. Ooh. Notre Dame got the rebound there. Dang. Sarah Burning's getting a beating down there. She, uh, she hit the deck hard twice on that drive right there. Clark has it. Only down three. 17 seconds left in the third. Palusek now. If you're going to take a three here, I want Jenna Clark to take it. There she is up in the corner. The three is up, oh. off the front iron. Nittinger rebound though. Maupin, Palusek now. She has a three. It's good! Palusek ties the game up at the buzzer. Man, like I said, the offensive rebounds really came in handy there. And it's gonna be a tie game. 
Fourth quarter coming up. Tie game. We got a good one on our hands. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this break. Sponsored by Air Services, All Services. We're going to take a quick look at the guys bracket. That so, tournament will be next week. It's 27th through 29th. Round one, we have Hillcrest, New Madrid, New Madrid, solid team. I mean, a Hall of Fame coach. Dude, that, I'm going to see New Madrid take him out. Why not? Blair Oaks, Rogersville. Blair Oaks, solid team. Nixon, Notre Dame. And Belton, Marquette. Coach Jay Osborne's one last NIT. It's going to be a good one. I'm excited for that one. Guys get to start off Notre Dame. That's going to be a fun tournament. That will be, like you said, 27th through the 29th. We will have those games here on Nixon Live Production. As we're going to get this fourth quarter underway, tie game. Webster Groves, though, is, it is in the bonus. Poppins going to inbound it. Lusek has it. She's got 10. She's looking around. Nittinger has it. In the corner. Clark drives to Nittinger. Nittinger gets the bucket off the backboard. Fairly easy shot. No one was really near her. Rubel has it. Rubel driving. In the corner. Gardner. Three can't get it. Rubel gets the rebound, however. She's looking around. Now Tori has it. Tori Rubel looking around. Over to Lexi Rubel. Lexi! Tried to pull up with a three there, can't get it. Moppin gets the rebound. Over to Palusek. Palusek brings it up. Over to Moppin. Moppin to Nittinger. Nittinger gets it up. Look at the Statesmen now. They're up by four. I mean, right now, Webster Grove has all the momentum they, they need right now to keep this game going. Notre Dame needs a way to stop it in a hurry. Lexi Rubel now has it. She takes the screen. Now over. Gardner now has it. Over to Givens. Lexi Rubel now ha has it. She's going to drive in. Over in the corner. Givens, three. No good. And we've seen that a lot. We've seen Ru Lexi Rubel call for a screen, just go the other way. Try and confuse the defense out, I think, a bit. Palusek over to Nittinger. Nittinger, ball stolen by Givens. Over to Gardner. That's going to be a foul on Palusek. That's going to be her third. And now Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs. I got to get back in this. They're down four, six, 15, six, 15 yeah, left in the fourth quarter. Gardner, over in the corner. Rubel now has it. Notre Dame swinging the ball around. Gardner has it. Gardner over to Rubel. Rubel screen. She gets trapped. Rubel gets it back off the pass from Burnin. Burn over in the corner for Gardner. Gardner drives baseline. Ooh. And she's gonna get fouled hard. By Nittinger. You all right, Nate Perrier? Nate, how does that cupcake taste right now? Red velvet with cream cheese. Tastes good? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to have to grab one of those. <laughs> you, you heard it there. Stay tuned for the West Plains Nixa NIT Championship game. Nate thinks it's the greatest game ever in the NIT history last year. We'll see. This will be, be a great game. As Gardner knocked both for three for, free throws down. It's a two-point game. Plusek has over to Moppin. Moppin in the corner for Clark. Clark, wide open three. She can't get it to fall. Rubel has it. Rubel over to Tori in the corner. The three is up. Gardner can't get it to fall. Plusek with the rebound. Plusek bringing it up. Over to Moppin. Back to Plusek. 
Mopping in the paint now. Palusek driving in. Shot is up. Can't get it. Rubel with the rebound. Lexi Rubel bringing it up. Gets it to her sister, Tori. Tori with a three. That's going to be a little short off the front iron. Mopping with the rebound. Now Palusek has it. Five minutes left in the fourth. Going to be a timeout here for Webster Groves. They're only up two. Five minutes left in the fourth. We're going to take a quick break. Sponsored by Air Services, All Services. Welcome back, everyone, to Nixon, Missouri, here at Eagle Fieldhouse. It's the third place game. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Webster Grove Statesman. They've had a little rally here. They're up two. But Notre Dame not going out without a fight. This has been a great game so far, Brady. Yeah, I mean, both teams could definitely be in the championship game right now. Like, they're both championship caliber teams. They are. Only one of these teams is going to take third place. Clark now has it. Clark driving over to Moppin. Moppin now drives it. Moppin, what a move. She gets it in. She, or no, she takes the lead by four. Takes the lead by four. I almost said she tied it. Whoops. Everything just looks so smooth from her when she drives in the lane. That is where she's at her best right there is when she's driving it in. Gardner now throws over to Rubel. Rubel driving it. That ball is going to be stolen by Clark. I don't know who that pass was intended to. Pelusak has it. I have a chance to really open up the game for them. Up four. Over to Moppin. Moppin has it. She drives. She gets it to go. Eliza Moppin. Eliza Moppin. 16 on the night. Here comes Lexi Rubel now. She only has four. She hasn't really had a good game on the offensive side of the ball. Who's going to be picked up by Nittinger. Gardner has it. She drives. And that ball's going to be blocked by Nittinger. Moppin has it over to Palusek. And Palusek brings the ball up. 347 left in the fourth. Statesman up six. Moppin has it now. Over to Palusek. Palusek to Clark. Clark drives the baseline. Throws it over the goal. She can't get it. Rubel now over to her sister, Tori Rubel. Tori bringing it up. Over to Lexi. She's looking around. 321 left. Garner with it. They're going to get something going here. At least try to. And Givens has it. Down low to Rubel. Rubel. Trying to get something going. Over in the corner. Nothing there. Now Tori Rubel has it. And that ball is going to be stolen. Jenna Clark picks the ball off. 2.53 left in the fourth. Webster Groves up six in the corner for Moppin. Down low to Ninninger. Ninninger, she's going to travel. Part of Rubel's offensive struggle right now is, I mean, Ellie Plusak has played phenomenal defense on her. She and has. She, she has locked her up. I mean, it's been great. And that's part of her reason. She's played really well defense on her, and she's not getting the open shots she has before. And credit to Palusa. Only standing in at 5'6". Lexi Rubel at 6 foot. According to her roster sheet, she's played great defense on her. I mean, you can't ask for better defense out of her with that big of a mismatch in size. Only 2.45 left. In the fourth, Notre Dame. They gotta get something going here if they wanna get this game back. Webster Groves was down the majority of the game, but they have really came back here in the fourth. They had an offensive explosion to start the quarter. 
And they've kept Notre Dame offense at a stagnant here in this fourth quarter. Now Webster Groves is in the bonus as we're going to get the rest of this fourth quarter underway here in a minute. Brady, what do you think Notre Dame's got to do if they want to get back in this game? Capitalize on their shots and minimize turnovers. Yeah, we've I mean, seen Webster Grove has taken the ball away multiple times on opportunities, and they're starting to rebound the ball. Mm -hmm. And they're winning now. It's just they've got to capitalize on their shots. They haven't, they've, really, they've shot a lot of threes, haven't went in, and it's been costly. Yeah, if two of those threes they've missed have gone in, it's a tie game right now. Gardner has it. Over to Tori. Tori Ruba looking around. Cross court pass. Over to Sebro. Sebro. Gardner. Rubel. Shot from Givens. Givens. Can't get it. Rubel's going to get the rebound, though. She's going to be short. Webster Groves basketball. As Lexi tipped the ball up to Tory, but Tory just couldn't get the shot to go. Notre Dame in a full court press. Belusek has it. When do you think they're going to start fouling here, Brady? There's a lot more time before they have to start fouling. Belusek drives it in there. I mean, she just burnt the defense there. And Absolutely burned them. Rubel over to Garner. Garner, Rubel. Over to Givens. On the elbow now for Rubel. Alexi Rubel takes a screen. Tori Rubel now has it in the corner. They're going to they're they're call it out on Tori Rubel. That's 148 left. Down eight. Webster Groves just came back in this game. Moppin has it. Hopping to Clark. Clark bringing it up. She's gonna try, about to, she almost got trapped, but passes it quickly out to Palusek. Over to Moppin, who drives in. Moppin, her sister cleans up the rebound. Adele Moppin couldn't get it, but her sister, Eliza Moppin, cleans it up. There's going to be a timeout here for the Lady Bulldogs. 128 left in the fourth. We're going to take a quick break. It's the Webster Grove Statesman leading the Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs. We'll be back after this break. From, sponsored by Air Services, All Services. He's pretty excited for the championship game as the Notre Dame Lady Bulldogs bring it up. In the corner now for Givens. Givens to Gardner. Gardner driving. She loses control. Oh. And Nittinger with the block. Palusek now has it. Only a minute left. Down eight. And that ball's going to be tipped there by Gardner. It's going to go out of bounds. Statesman going to keep the ball here. Maupin has it. 57 seconds left. Maupin loses control of it. Not going to be picked up. Gardner Ooh. gets fouled. You see, I think she just stepped on her foot there. I don't really know what happened because she didn't even really go up with it. She just kind of threw it up. Yeah. Well, that's going to be Eliza Maupin's fourth foul. And it's going to be Gardner shooting three throws here. There's a chance to cut this lead down a little bit. Really important shots here. Gardner's first shot. This is going to get it. That's going to go off the back iron. 
Both teams making substitutions. 52.2 seconds left. It's a 10 point game. Garner didn't make any of their free throws. Hawkins gets the rebound, now Polusek has it. They're gonna double Polusek before she even crosses half court. Hawkins now has it. Hawkins gets trapped. I don't know what they called the foul on. I'm not sure either. They were gonna call the foul probably should have been earlier, but I guess they called it there and just going to the line. I don't know what. I, I think Notre Dame waited a little too long to foul. Yeah, 40 seconds Especially left. when they got down by 10. I, right, she got that ball. Probably should have been a foul. Because now it's 40, 45 to 35. Well, they also probably didn't want the ball in Pelusek's hands at the free throw line. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Givens now has it. Cross court pass. Gardner driving. And she's going to get fouled. She missed her last two. This is where free throws become an important part. It's why you practice it with them for so long during practice. But these moments right here, you're down, you gotta get back in the game. You gotta make these free throws here. And Nick's a 25 of their 68 points were free throws last night. They went 25 for 30 from the line and it was just phenomenal performance. And that's one of the reasons they beat a very good Webster Grove team. There's Garner. She knocks that one down. Missed her first, knocked down the second. So I'm repressing again. They're gonna not gonna foul him. It has. I mean, why is I that ball's gonna be stolen by Gardner. Gardner driving. It's gonna be a foul. Oh. Can't get the and one. I was I, I, I wanted the and one there so bad. I did too. I wanted this. I want I like seeing it come back. But this is like I said, where free throws are so important because she makes those other three free throws. It's 45-39. She has a chance to make it 45-41. I'll make it a four-point game if she makes all of her free throws. That's why they're so important. They could have a chance to only be down four, but right now, they're down eight. Garner's first one down, her second one. Can't get it. Nittinger with the rebound. And only 15 seconds left, so I don't think they're going to foul him. 15 seconds. Givens got the steal. Less than 10 seconds left. I don't think they're going to get it back. Givens, drains three, it. drains it. No timeouts. That, this game is going to be over. In the third place, winner is going to be Webster Groves. They take third place in the Knicks Invitational Girls Basketball Tournament. Notre Dame's going to take fourth as this game's over, 45-40. Make sure you guys stay tuned as we have the championship game for the Knicks Invitational Basketball Tournament, NHTSA versus West Plains. You guys don't want to miss it. For Ryan Swanson and my broadcast partner, Brady Retone, signing off. Make sure you all stay tuned for the next one.